Right now, COVID trends have remained steady as most of North Carolina stays in the CDC's low COVID community level. Mecklenburg County we know has been there for several weeks now, but there are several new COVID variants beginning to spread across the country and experts say that those could disrupt these current low trends that we're seeing here. WCNC Charlotte's Chloe Leshner here to talk about this, joining us live from the Mecklenburg County Health Department. So Chloe, what are doctors saying to expect for this holiday season? Hey, Vanessa, experts say there's still a lot to learn about these newer variants, but today the Mecklenburg County Health Director did tell me that they sequenced the first case of the new variant BQ.1 in the UNC Charlotte lab last week. He said there's no reason to be alarmed about this, but it just shows that COVID is still circulating as we head into the winter season. Winter is coming and so are new Omicron subvariants. BQ.1 is the one of most concern. Researchers in the lab at UNC Charlotte regularly sequence a handful of positive tests, reading the virus's genetic code to determine which variants are spreading. The first case of BQ.1 was just discovered. I think there's still more to learn about sort of how it behaves, if it behaves any differently, and certainly causing uh, uptick in cases in other countries. The latest data in Mecklenburg County mimics national trends. BA5 is still making up 70% of tests sequenced and BE or BF like variants account for 13% of positive tests sequenced. While current COVID trends haven't changed, Mecklenburg County Health Director Dr. Raynard Washington says the county is prepared for a possible surge like we've experienced the past few winters. Well, it's not um, unrealistic to think that that may occur. Uh, one of the benefits we have today is that we obviously have a lot of immunity built up in the community, either through vaccination or natural infection. Uh, and so certainly that is uh, hopefully going to help us protect against any very dramatic surges like we saw with Omicron um, last fall. Dr. Washington says the new Omicron specific boosters should provide some protection against these newer sub variants, but demand for them has been pretty low. We'll dive more into those numbers coming up at six o'clock. Live in Charlotte, Chloe Leshner, WCNC Charlotte.